Hi everyone, the goal of this video is to show you how to set up the prac for refraction. In this prac you're going to need a power pack, you're going to need a Hodson light box, and in the Hodson light box you're going to have a half circle semicircular prism uh, which you're going to be needing and you'll need a single slit gate. The Hodson light box has a focus control knob. This knob controls the shape of your light projection. If you move it too far one way, then the shape will splay out. If you have it too far the other way, the light will splay in. So you want to adjust it so that your light projection is a nice parallel shape moving out. At this point, you grab your single slit gate and place it into the place it into the Hodson light box so that you get a nice beam of light coming out of it. The next thing that we must do is place our semicircular prism on the paper and trace around it. We have to find the exact middle of the flat surface and draw in our normal line. Here we have our beam of light from the Hodson light box directed across the piece of paper. You can see where I've traced in the semicircle prism, the glass prism, and I've drawn in at the very middle of the flat side a normal line going all the way through. Without the prism present, we can see the ray is uninterrupted as it moves across the page. I've directed it at where the normal line meets the flat surface. When the glass prism is present, we see that the ray has been refracted, and in particular it has been refracted towards the normal line, which means that the light has, has slowed down as it's entered into the glass. The light doesn't bend again as it leaves the glass because of the semicircular shape of the prism the light reaches the edge of the glass perpendicular, no matter which way it touches the glass. This is why we train the light towards the center of the flat side, so that as it refract, refracts out, refracts out, it always goes towards the surface at a perpendicular angle. When you're ready to make a recording, place little dots along the path of the incident ray and along the path of the refracted ray. Remove your prism, get a ruler and draw in your incident ray and draw in your refracted ray. Have the two lines meet where the normal line crosses over the flat side of the prism. This is our first ray that we can see. It's been refracted, it's bent towards the normal line and we're going to label this ray with the letter A at the start and at the back. The goal of the lesson today is to get a whole lot of refracted lines. We label the refracted lines carefully and the incident lines so we can keep track of which refracted lines belong to which incident lines. We'll be looking at these in our next week to see if there's any patterns we can see.